what's going on everybody welcome to another episode of adventure time prospecting i'm your host james and we're gonna go out to a spot and see what's going on i'll tell you all about it all right folks what we're gonna do is we're headed out to a spot that goes under the highway and it's all lined in concrete and it's a big spooky looking tunnel and all these floods we've had around here has washed up a whole bunch of good looking gravels around there and we're gonna go poke around in there and see what we can come up with see so have a look around you never know we might find a point we might find a little bit of gold we might find not nothing so but I tell you what we will find is a little bit of adventure and we'll go out there We'll see what's going on. Welcome back to Adventure Time Prospecting. Let's go. A pretty sweet fossil. Oh, man, a trap. Oh, I see. Somebody drove their four wheeler up through the creek. Yep, looks like it came out through there. Spooky tunnel. Good echo in here. Today, we are working this ginormous gravel bar. There's Patrick up there. Oh, he's roots. We're gonna work some of this stuff. What a place to set up. Right at a spooky tunnel. Yeah, boy. God, that's a huge one, dude. So many quartz coming out of here.
Here's a few of the cool things we've been finding. Fossilized wood. <laughs> the heart of stone. Fitting. Piece of nice bubbly hematite. Iron ore stuff. Look at this guy. Two coal seams. Coal. Quartz. And a crazy swirl fossil. Check that out. That's friggin' awesome. That's a smoker in my book right there. Some kind of coral. Looks like it was in the ocean one time. Ocean coral. It's got, look at them crystals in it. Look at that. That's gorgeous. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. It's got two coal seams running through it. Coal quartz. It's like a quartz crystal right there. You know, folks, you know anything about any of this stuff, let me know. We'll stay on the hunt. We've got one little speck of gold in the indicator, Matt. I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Let me try to show you. Right. Right there. A wee little fella. Too much glare, folks. I won't show up that one little speck, I don't guess, but... We'll get back to it and see what we get, and we'll show you in the cleanup. But at least we know there's a little gold here. It's the main thing. It's enough inspiration to keep on the digging. In this spooky, spooky tunnel I'm working in. Right here. Hello. Go way back to where. <laughs> It's in quartz conglomerates, folks. Let's this puppy run through a little bit. Alright folks, I did one cleanup already. Had about four buckets run through. And I found that one speck. <laughs> but we're not going to let that deter us. You know why? It's a beautiful day outside. And even if we don't find much color, we still got out and had a good time. That's all that matters to me. Gold's icing on the cake. Now here enjoying a beautiful day, running this sluice, sitting by a creepy tunnel. Creepy tunnel gold.
I work in this area here on this big gravel bar. Got a lot of cobbles mixed in with these tree roots. We'll see if we can't do a little bit better here. Let's do it. Finding gold in West Virginia is not easy. It's a lot of work. But let me tell you, it's fun. And it's good exercise. Go out and make yourself happy, folks. Don't matter who you are. Or where you are. Go out and enjoy your life, folks. in this area here on this big gravel bar. Got a lot of cobbles mixed in with these tree roots. We'll see if we can't do a little bit better here. Let's do it. Finding gold in West Virginia is not easy. It's a lot of work. But let me tell you, it's fun. And it's good exercise. Go out and make yourself happy, folks. Don't matter who you are. Or where you are. Go out and enjoy your life, folks. We moved a little bit, found us a good layer of that good red clay stuff. All kinds of iron in it. Got us two big old holes are working now. And two big old sluices. By God. and spared y'all the agony of me painting this stuff out. There's your gold right there. If I can get it where you can see it, get the glare out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
uh, probably about 15 or 20 pieces in there maybe I don't think I'm gonna be buying my new Rolls Royce tonight if I cash this in I don't even think I'd be able to buy a pickle for a hamburger but it's all right though it all adds up pretty pretty West Virginia gold check out what's left of this old porcelain crock still got some awesome glaze on it this thing probably would have been about a foot and a half two foot tall had a ceramic lid that went on right there man if that would have been all together it would have been gorgeous still got the glaze on it here's our other cool fossils and stuff we came up with that guy this thing's crazy got coal in it quartz in it crazy little spirals in it awesome looking for some points now I'm finding some finding some flakes of flint let's know if we find anything cool well I reckon I did get my new Porsche from prospecting today right there it is my Hot Wheels Porsche I found today a big piece of fossilized wood that thing there's what's not buried it's probably three foot long probably close to four foot around I won't be taking that one home folks me and Patrick we got out on the creek found a little bit of collar had one heck of a good afternoon got some exercise out in the bright beautiful sunshine found some pretty awesome fossils found some chips of flint didn't find a point never did find that point or a scraper but we did find some flint chips so that's a step in the right direction um, found a chunk of a crock Man, that old crock, that sucker. That would have been valuable if it would have been a whole crock. That would have been that would have been a, a valuable piece to have. Especially if I had a company logo in the glaze. That would have that would have really been cracking. But hey, that's the first part of a crock I've ever found, so you know, we're on it. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyhow, if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share really helps my channel helps you out more than you know actually uh, not to mention I love hearing from you guys I love getting some feedback love it absolutely it gives me good ideas helps me along we're all a little family so talk to me we can we'll figure something out like I said I'll come prospecting at y'all's place your creek if you want me to no problem let me know I've already got a few people inviting me to different places we're going to start going to some of them here when the weather starts getting a little bit better. Um, anyhow, I'm going to get off here now and quit my quit my belly aching, probably talking y'all's ear off. But if anything, you learn how to find a little bit of gold, maybe you learn how to speak a little bit of Appalachian. So we'll see you guys on the next Adventure Time Prospecting. Take care and God bless.